forget the yard work. Okay. With Citibank's pop money, Dan can easily send money by email right from his Citibank account. Nice job, Ben. Well played, Dan. Well played. Citibank pop money. Easier banking. Standard at Citibank. always been into space. My older sister would um, take me out to see lunar eclipses. She taught me how to look at solar eclipses. She would clip things from the newspapers and show them to me. And Sally Ride was a huge inspiration. Seeing her go into space, that made me realize that I could do that. And I think it was my third grade, I was doing the announcements and I told the entire school that one day I would be an astronaut. My name is Mumta Patel Nagaraja and I work at NASA. I manage the Women at NASA program, and what we do is use the stories of women at NASA to inspire young girls. When someone thinks NASA, they think science and technology and engineering, and that really is the crux of what we do. And so degrees in science and engineering, math, physics, the physical sciences are very important. So I think one of our biggest responsibilities is to encourage other women and young girls to enter those fields. After high school, I went to Texas A&M University in College Station, Texas. While there, I had an incredible opportunity to be part of the co-op program at NASA's Johnson Space Center. What that means is I get to do one semester of school and then go work for one semester and actually learn hands-on engineering at NASA. And then after graduation, I decided to pursue graduate studies. And I went to the Georgia Institute of Technology and Emory University in Atlanta, Georgia and studied biomedical engineering. And then I tied it back into space by studying how the body reacts to outer space and microgravity. So when I finished my degree, I pursued a full-time position at NASA's Johnson Space Center, where I worked in mission control and I trained the astronauts who flew up to the space station in the space shuttle. When we train the astronauts, we become experts in one particular area of the space station and then teach the astronauts just what they need to know to be able to operate and live safely in space. One of the biggest challenges and hurdles in my career was actually moving to Washington, D.C. and switching over to NASA headquarters. I always thought NASA was NASA's Johnson Space Center. To me, there was no other NASA. That's where human exploration was born. That's where we manage it. That's where the astronauts train. I'm probably one of the few people in my generation who wants to retire from the same company I started my career with. And then I decided to leave it. I had gotten married and my husband and I had been long distance for three years and it was just time to merge into one city. But making that decision was not easy. And I'll tell you exactly how I made it. I had a really good mentor. My branch chief was my supervisor and he said, if that's what you need to do, then I will support you. And that he would find a way to keep me because he thought that the work I did was that important and it was critical to the mission. I think a good mentor really thinks about you and wants you to do better than they did. I like to think that I am a mentor. I've definitely had students who worked under me and I think one of the biggest compliments I've ever received is when I got an email from a student that said, I decided to work for NASA because of you. I mean, it gives me goosebumps. It's one of my proudest moments. I don't think you have to be the most successful person in the office or the highest ranking official or have a fancy title. Sometimes it's really just who you are. And the thing is, mentees, they're often looking for people they can relate to. And honestly, I don't think gender plays a role in a good mentor. Sometimes it's just somebody in the office who really cares. 